What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Here we go again. It's like this is a never ending cycle. You would think that with the change in hardware with the Xbox One S, we already know that the Xbox One S has better gaming capabilities than the vanilla Xbox One. It's already been proven on Digital Foundry, so we know it's capable of more. But when you see this constantly and consistently for the most part, it's gotta be, it's a little irritating that there's this much of a disparity between the Xbox One and the, the PlayStation 4 that a 900p versus 1080p resolution is becoming the standard for multi-platform games. It's really frustrating, especially when a new game like Mass Effect Andromeda drops at 900p on the Xbox One and 1080p on the PS4. It's a little frustrating, especially for those who only have the Xbox One and want the highest resolution you can get on a home console. 1080p isn't even a reality right now. We can't even get 1080p 60 on home consoles, unless it's a stick figure game, honestly. And we're really thinking about 4K gaming? The reality that we live in now makes the prospect of the PlayStation 4 Pro and the Xbox Scorpio seem not even like it's a reality. Because the PS4 and Xbox One aren't super old technology, but 1080p still seems to be a fantasy for these. 4K 60? Is this really going to happen with the Xbox Scorpio? I hope. I'd hope that 6 teraflops is enough to do it. You know, I think that's a, a lot of power for sure. But if we're struggling just to get 1080p at 30 frames per second, it seems like 4K at 60 is just a leap over the moon. But getting back to the story, Mass Effect Andromeda, 900p, Xbox One, 1080p, PlayStation 4, both games running at 30 frames per second. And it's a little disappointing. I'll drop a link in the description. Mass Effect Andromeda to run at 900p, 30 frames per second on the Xbox One, and no season pass for the Bioware game. Bad news Mass Effect Andromeda fans. It appears that Bioware has not designed the game to be an outstanding visual treat on home consoles. Also, the developer has not come up with a season pass for the players to take advantage of. Bioware General Manager Aaron Flynn revealed this week more details about the upcoming action role-playing third-person shooter, but they are certainly not the kind to keep fans wanting more. Flynn reportedly took to NeoGAF forums to air out how the game would perform on home consoles. As per Angry Gamer, the thread about the new Mass Effect game was initially focused on why the developer won't be launching a version of the game on the Nintendo Switch. However, Flynn revealed some information on the performance of the sci-fi adventure game on the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. In his statement, Flint said, quote, Mass Effect Andromeda will run at 900p, 30 frames per second on Microsoft's video game console. On the other hand, it will run at 1080p at the same frame rate on Sony's gaming device, just like other Frostbite games. Flynn also noted that only the PC version of the game will have an uncapped frame rate. He added that in cutscenes, the frame rate could go up beyond 30 frames per second. Quote, I think we've even gotten over the 30 frames per second cap in cutscenes, but I'll double check in the next couple of weeks, end quote. On Twitter, Flynn also answered a couple of questions from fans. Dual Shockers learned that when he was asked if there will be a season pass for Mass Effect Andromeda, Flynn simply responded, Nope. When asked by the same fan if he could explain more, he replied that they will be talking about DLC in the future. Despite the disappointing news, there is also a positive confirmation from the developer. The official Twitter account of the franchise revealed that EA Access members on the Xbox One will get a chance to play the game for a limited time prior to its official release. Though there is no announcement if PC members will also get the same treatment, but it is very likely they will get early access as well. Mass Effect Andromeda is slated for release in North America on March 21st for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. You know, Mass Effect is one of my favorite franchises of all time. You know, I was always a big PlayStation fan, especially when Mass Effect 1 came out. I didn't want to acknowledge that it was amazing, and I didn't want to play it. I didn't want to look at it. You know, I was completely blinded by fanboyism. And then when I finally grabbed my Xbox, put Mass Effect in there, I went through that game and the second one like back to back. And it was incredible. One of the, the favorite games of all time. I still listen to Mass Effect 2 soundtrack when I'm driving around the city. I mean, it's really that great. Mass Effect 3 was great as well, the ending wasn't so good, so of course I'm looking forward to getting this. I happen to own all the consoles, so I'm going to get whichever version of the game looks the best and performs the best. But I think that they should work harder, these developers should work harder to extract as much power out of the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 as they can to kind of to streamline the process so that one set of gamers doesn't feel like they're getting less of a product. If you're only getting, if you got a 1080p TV and you're only getting 900p, you're not even getting to the max of your television. And I think that three years after these consoles have been released, 
the developers would by now at least have figured out how to extract 1080p, especially at 30 frames per second out of these games. Mass Effect is not an open world game, so it shouldn't be that hard, I would think. But hey, I'm not a developer. You guys let me know in the comment section below, if you're an Xbox One owner primarily, does this kind of news frustrate you? I own an Xbox One, and if I only had an Xbox One, Part of me thinks I'd be a little frustrated that all the multi-plats are coming out at a lower frame rate and usually performing a little less on the Xbox One than the PS4. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Should these developers work harder to make these more streamlined? And why does Xbox continually get shafted even after the Xbox One S release? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Mass Effect Andromeda, PS4, Xbox One, no season pass, and possible DLC in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. And the Beastly Gamer channel is in 1080p60. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.